Welcome to EAUC. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chuck. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 199 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Shut down. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, great thing to lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. This one, good evening from Timo Marina here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. The UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Huge block there. I mean, 
look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just missed with the leg kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Come on, don't stand still. Oh, a huge block there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Big head kick lands. Blocks the strike. Right hand upstairs. He connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Pretty good right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right on the button. Right hand upstairs. That's a big hook. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to face down that pitch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Reach advantage there with that land, DC. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh! Stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Big leg kick land. Final seconds here. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight 
he landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Liver kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Just misses with that one. Right hand upstairs. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Is missing. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. That was a jab. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, a big left hand lands. Oh! Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the straight left hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Real quick leg kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice. One step. Back and forth we go. to that kick. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, I think he jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I... Oh! He's close. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. Nice loop and punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good. Oh, beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. 
He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. previous round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever nice hook it's very tricky when he throws that body kick Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Blocks that kick to the body. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it, he's to kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He blocked the punch. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. Strike the hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Significant welt to the left side. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he tags it with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. For him. Look at the turn in that kick. Oh man, head kick lands. Well, missed on that one. drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. 
That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.